Hello, everybody. Today, my research presentation is learners' attitudes towards engaging in online communication activities. I'm. My name is Wu Qingxuan Strong, academic. Of language study, UITN. Introduction. Learning third or foreign language populars at Malaysian universities. University Technology Mara, UITN. One of public universities, Mandarin is most popular third or foreign language in this university. Blended learning has been implemented in UITM since two thousand nine. Blended learning provides Channels for students continue learning Mandarin after classes. However, there are no significant study on attitudes of learners who engage in Mandarin online communication activities. Statements of the problems in UITN. Students learn Mandarin two hours per week. Thus, they have problem in limited contact hours. Therefore, sometimes lecturers have neglected listening and speaking exercises in order to finish the syllabus. Second problem was some students are unable to speak. And understand foreign language outside the classroom. Even they finish their Mandarin class. Objective of the studies. UITN implements blended learning. Thus, means that UITN students were also exposed. To online communication activities for Mandarin courses. The main objective of this research was looked into attitudes of students who engage in Mandarin online communication activities. Methodologies. Quality approach being used for this research. Observations for this research. Online communication activities via e-learning management systems, e-learn portals for one semester. Two hundred one students have been selected from. Classes in seven faculties at UITN Shah Alam. Four mainstream faculties, which from architecture planning and surveying, computer science and mathematical science, pharmacy, health science, whereas three social science faculties were business management. Information management, office management technology have been selected for these studies. Students or learners or have been given the trainings before they be they begin online communication activities, and manual also provided to students how to participate. Into online communication activities. 
practices, online communication activities, settings. From the folder announcements, the lecturer can post any important announcement here to their student. For folder I discuss or online forums consists of two main folders, namely general discussions and academic discussion. General folder consists of topics general student could post any question about Mandarin one. Welcome folder lecturers wrote welcome message to students. Chatting folders allow students chat with their peers or with their lecturers about Mandarin one. Academic folder consisted of topics Han Yu Pi Lecturers post all information about Han Yu Pi here. And students can ask Q question and answer here. Mandarin one notes and notas allow students to print out these materials to enhance their knowledge of vocabulary and grammars. Additionally, students can submit their exercise here. Podcasts and listening photos, students downloaded materials into their digital devices such as MP3, MP4, iPhone, smartphone, etc. to enhance students' listening and speaking skills. Chapter 1 to Chapter 8 here was emitted from the books. Consists of internet resources links. Students, each group of students should post Links to internet resources related to chapter 1 to chapter 8 to share with other students. Questions and answers. Students ask questions pertaining to chapter 1 to chapter 8. The group in charge of a particular chapter answer the questions posted by other classmates. Students refer the question to their lecturers if they couldn't answer it. Exercises The group members posted exercises here. The exercises included rearranging sentences, constructing sentences, translating and carrying out dialogue in questions and answer formats to enhance Students' Mandarin skills. Results and discussions. Learners know prior experience of participating in online communication activities for these studies. Online communication activity were divided into two main categories with general discussion and academic discussions. Students' attitudes in using online communication in general folder. In general discussions consists of three folders. The researchers found that some students post academic questions instead post any general questions here. Besides that, researchers also posted questions why learners learn Mandarin and what problems they encounter when learning Mandarin. Majority of students say that Learning Mandarin can help them to communicate with others and value added for their future career undertakings. However, not many answer posted here. 
to sum up, some students had not read or refer to the manual provided by researchers. The pattern of online communication was clear. Students or lecturers ask questions. Other students and lecturers answer it. Students' attitudes in using online communication in academic discussions. From the folder Hang Yu Pinyin, some students posted other questions or information here. It showed that some students had not read or refer to the manual provided by researchers. For Mandarin OneNotes and Nota, not many students submitted their exercise here. It might be due to some of the lecturers had discussed the answer with students. For podcasts and listening, students merely downloaded these materials and studied them by themselves rather than asking their lecturers. For chapter 1 to chapter 8 folder, most of students posted exercises into different subfolders and let other students do the exercises. Lecturers monitor the online communication activities. They identified and corrected the mistakes of the students. Student and lecturers given encourage comments for those students make correct answers. In conclusion, students actively engage in folder chapter 1 to chapter 8 activities instead of others. It so positive attitudes engage students engaging in online communication activities. However, researchers facing certain challenges of participating in online communication. Minority students not actively participating in the online communication activities even after the lecturer identify them in class as well as in the announcement folder via the island portals. Second problem was penalty glitches. Some students complained that they couldn't download or upload their materials via the island portals. Third problem was lecturers were unable to respond or answer the students' questions promptly or immediately as a result of demanding teaching workloads of lecturers. Researchers suggested certain strategies to overcome it. Lecturers could reward active students with small gifts, providing more exercises and assignments that are related to their Mandarin syllables and later to their assessment, making it compulsory to submit their assignments via Iron Portal and awards or get marks to students, encouraging students to participate in these activities. In conclusion, online communication activities motivated students, enhanced students' social capitals, information and interactions. Students could get information from these activities and interact with peers and lecturers. Also enhance human capitals, students gain knowledge and Mandarin skills. This Online communication activities also promoted active learning, cooperative learning, and collaborative learning when students actively engage in these activities 
and when they cooperate and collaborate with their peers to post their exercises and participate in online communication activity. Aside from flexible learning and flipped learning among students, students can, can participate in these online communication activities regardless time, time and space and they can they could get these information before they begin their class. In conclusion, online communication activities is good platform to learn Mandarin. Thank you for your participations.